Here's the solution to number two. Write an equation that allows you to determine the length of the unknown side of the right triangle. Round to the nearest tenths. So first let's start by labeling our sides. We're going to label them A, B, and C. So let's take a look at the diagram. We have our right angle is over here. So the side opposite that angle is C, the hypotenuse. And then the other two sides are the legs. So I'm going to label them A and B. So then from here, I'm going to go through and write the Pythagorean theorem formula down. So that's my second step. Write the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Next step, we're going to substitute. We're going to substitute B is 6 and 11 in for this C. So do our substitution. A squared plus 6 squared equals 11 squared. Next step, we have to start doing some calculations here because we have to start solving for our unknown. So we have to calculate 6 squared. 6 times 6 is 36 and 11 squared is 11 times 11 which is 121. And then our next step, we're going to undo adding 36 so we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to subtract 36 from both sides. So from here we have to subtract these 36's. 36 minus 36 is 0, so they cancel out. Bring down your a squared. And then do 121 minus 36. Let's see what we get. So we're going to have a squared equals 85. Next step, take the square root of both sides. So take the square root of both sides and here's what it looks like. So we need to take our calculator tool and type in the square root of 85. The square root of a squared is a, and the square root of 85, you do get a decimal number, so we have to round in this example. So if I'm rounding to the nearest tenths, I have to look what number comes after this 2. We have a 1 there, so that 1 tells me to leave that 2 as a 2. So when I round, my answer is a equals 9.2. So the answer for this problem is 9.2.